um, of scholars. You have the mainstream group who are the majority of scholars, like 99.9% .9 of the scholars from Shias and Sunnis. They say that this story happened in reality. Yeah, this story is real. A whale came and Prophet Yunus was inside the stomach of the whale. Then you have a small minority of scholars from Shia and Sunnis, yeah, and less than 0.1%. They say that this story doesn't have to be real. Remember when we spoke about Iblis, when we gave the, story, when we gave the lectures about Shaitan, we said that some of the stories in the Quran they don't have to be real. It can be a metaphor or an example. Which means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to send a message to us. He sent this message through a story. It doesn't mean that it's a fairy tale, same as we mentioned with the shaitan. We say, no, something happened back then. Something happened with Prophet Yunus alayhi salam. But rather than mention, mentioning it in a boring way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put, put, put the story down in this example that he gave us. Okay? It doesn't mean that this is what I believe in. What I believe and I don't believe in, it's not important. What is important is for us to understand the message of this story. The message of this example that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives in the Quran. Anyway, when he was in darkness, فَنَادَى فِي الظُّلُمَاتِ أَنْ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا أَنْتْ سُبْحَانَكَ إِنِّي كُنْتُ مِنَ الظَّالِمِينَ He called out within the darkness, whether the physical or the spiritual darkness, there is no... God except you, indeed I have been of the wrongdoers. Wrongdoers as in choosing the less preferable act. When, when Yunus alayhi salam saw himself in the darkness, he ran towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asking for forgiveness. Now,